So in the studio tonight, we've got our hands on 96 gigabytes of 5,600 megahertz crucial RAM. Now we've already tested 64 gigabytes of 4,800 and also a 64 gigabyte Fury 5,600 kit in my Razer Blade 16. So it felt perfect to try and put this 96 gigabyte of RAM in here so I can test it and compare it to those other RAM as well as the stock 32 gigabytes to see whether this is worth your money. Obviously, if you need the capacity, then there really is no other choice for the moment. Now, I do use a lot of RAM because I do a lot of video editing, virtual machines, and a lot of data processing. So I'm really looking forward to getting this running. So first things first, we're going to install the RAM in the actual laptop. Now on the Razer Blade 16 that I've got here, it's a very straightforward task. I take my T5 driver, remove the screws from the base plate, and it just pulls straight away, which is really handy. Now it is worth unplugging your battery before you install your RAM, just so that you don't cause any static electrical discharges and actually damage your laptop. But do remember, by doing this, you'll usually reset your CMOS clock, so when you go back in, it will tell you your time and date are out. Now first things first, I'm gonna take the RAM out of this laptop. You just pull the retaining clips either side of the RAM stick and it will literally pop out of the socket, pick it up and pull it away about 45 degrees away from the actual socket, put it safely to the side, and we're gonna insert our new RAM chip. Now it should be pretty obvious which way they go. There is a slot, they will only fit one way. Once you've found the correct orientation, slide it in at that 45 degree angle again. Once it's slid into the actual socket, push it home until the clips snap nicely into place. Once you've done that chip, you can now move to the second chip and do the same for that one. And that is your RAM completed. Once you've installed this RAM, plug your battery back in and we're gonna put the base cover back on and screw it on. Now, when you start the laptop on, as I mentioned, it may well tell you, depending on your laptop, that your CMOS is out of date. Update the date and time and boot back into Windows. And that should be it. It's very straightforward upgrading RAM on these laptops. Opening Task Manager, we can see all of that beautiful 96 gigabyte RAM running at its full speed of 5,600 megahertz. That's a great start. Now, the first thing I wanted to do is run the IDA64 RAM benchmarked to see how well this 96 gigabyte kit stacks up against all the other kits that we've tested. And interestingly, I noticed all the 5,600 megahertz kits were very close together. This is also good news. And the 4,800 megahertz RAM kit, obviously quite slow by today's standards, was a little bit further behind. So with that out of the way, I ran Geekbench 5 on each of the RAM kits. Now this is a great synthetic benchmark, based for the CPU, but it's heavily RAM dependent. And as you can see from the scores on this benchmark, the 96 gigabyte RAM kit scored much better than the older 4,800 megahertz 64 gigabyte RAM kit, and was almost on par with the stock 32 gigabyte RAM kit that Razer supplied with this Blade 16. But the clear speed winner was still our 64 gigabyte Fury kit, which we've even recommended for most of this year. And when you look at the CAS latency of this actual Fury RAM kit compared to the Crucial or any of the other RAM kits we've tested, the RAM timings on this kit are so much tighter than all of the other kits, which is why we're getting much higher scores with this Fury in the benchmarks. So then, in conclusion, if you need 96 gigabytes of RAM, there's pretty much no other choice, and these Crucials are actually a great RAM kit, which are only marginally slower than the Fury kit, which is our current number one. So if you need that 96 gigabyte, and you'll know if you do need that, then these are a great kit to buy. But if you know you only need 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabytes of RAM kit, then you still cannot beat this lovely Fury 64 gigabyte RAM kit. This has been our favorite RAM kit due to the incredible CAS latencies, and we've been using it in all of our testing this year. And it's also not a bad price considering it's a premium kit. Now, as always, if you're interested in picking up this 96 gigabyte RAM kit or the Fury, the links will be in the description. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.